Radiant Tubs here, and the final two cards for Onyxia's Lair have been revealed. A Legendary for Mage, and a Neutral Onyxia for everyone else. This honestly will probably be a quick video because there's only two cards. The first one being Helic Matron Protectorate. This is kind of an interesting card just because the artwork almost makes it look like not a Black Dragon fight. And that wouldn't make any sense in the context of it being from Onyxia's Lair. And I don't think this character actually exists in World of Warcraft. I could be wrong. It's a 8 cost, 4 attack, 12 HP, dragon for mage, that after you cast a spell, deal 4 damage, randomly split among all enemies. So this is definitely one of those cards, again, that's going to be a lot better once certain cards rotate out, such as Mozaki. But until then, I don't know how useful this is actually going to be. And even afterwards, it being an 8 cost card, unless... Hearthstone slows down a bunch. I don't know if this will ever find any home. I think you could probably play some weird type of mage vander deck with this card, faceless manipulators, and a few other high cost minions that mage has access to. Though I don't know how useful a deck like that actually is going to be in the long run. It is still a possibility of a deck that you could actually make work if you really felt like doing it. So for a gameplay perspective, I probably would say this is the worst legendary that we've actually seen in this set. Maida at least has the possibility of fitting in a already existing deck. This doesn't really. I guess it does make the Dragonfire amulet a lot better than it was before this card got revealed. Just because you could, in theory, generate two of these off of it. But that's a really high rolly thing and it is anti-synergistic with actually including this card in the deck. Since you don't want a bunch of high spells if you're going to try to OTK your opponent with a card like this. It's easily comparable to Flame Waker, but it's just a much higher cost card and as current Hearthstone matters stand, that doesn't really make it that viable. Now for the card that is the center of the set, Raid Boss Onyxia, which is a 10 cost neutral dragon with 8 attack and 8 HP, with Rush, immune while you control a Whelp, and Battlecry summons 6 to 1 Whelps with Rush. So because the Whelps have Rush, that makes it a lot better, but at the same time, you're probably not going to want to use them against your opponent's minions. You're going to probably want to keep them alive so you can actually make Onyxia immune for a much longer period of time. And funnily enough, this card actually has synergy with scales of Onyxia, which is actually really funny to actually think. And the cool thing that some of the devs have actually confirmed is cards that read whelp on them are going to also give her immunity so you could combo this out with vectus or some other cards that generate whelps doesn't have to necessarily be her whelps or any whelps generated in this set which is a nice little new tribal synergy that we actually have that is an official tribe similar to treants and imps it is kind of cool to see another one of these pseudo tribes starting to exist because it does give some possibilities for the future on introducing some other temporarily tribes that they don't want to support for a long period of time though it would be kind of cool if they were a little bit more consistent though i guess if they did make the whelps into their own tribe then you would be hurting the dragon overall because there are no cards that currently exist that are more than one tribe that aren't the all tribe which is every single tribe in one i guess the treant totems technically are that but treants aren't technically a tribe as it currently stands so that doesn't really work either either way i think this card probably will see some type of play in some weird type of dragon druid deck that might pop up because of a card like this but at the same time i don't know how useful it's going to be being a 10 cost minion it is going to be pretty hard to kill for certain classes that don't have a lot of aoe but the classes that have a lot of aoe will be able to deal with this pretty easily and i'm curious if immune will actually make her immune to something like shadow Ward death being played on her because technically she should be immune but immune is such a infrequent keyword that i don't actually know the interactions there but it will be interesting to see and try to test out and is honestly one of those build around cards that i'm looking forward to actually trying out now it also gives a lot of context to a card like scales of anixia like i said earlier of why that card was even a card if Onyxia was going to do something like this and I'm not really too shocked that she is a big impactful minion with something to do with whelps 
uh, it makes a lot of sense. She is the broodmother after all. So if there wasn't some type of interaction between whelps and her, that would have been a lot more of a disappointment than a high cost minion that may or may not see play depending on how slow the metagame actually is. Now that we've seen all the cards in the set, let me know below which cards that you want to build a deck most around because there are definitely a few cards that I want to build a deck around first such as Curse of Agony, Smokescreen, Onyxia is a funny one, and the Mage Legendary is also another funny one, just because I also have tried in the past to make a Vander Mage deck work, and that's a perfect card for a deck like that. But until next time, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.